Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are resuming the AP Calculus 2005 free response questions, and we're looking at number three here, which is the last of the graphing calculator ones. So a metal wire of length eight centimeters is heated at one end. Um, the table above gives the selected values of temperature T of X and degrees Celsius of the wire X centimeters from the heated end. The function T is decreasing and twice differentiable. Estimate T prime of seven and show the works that leads to your answer. Well, the derivative at seven um, is the slope at seven, but I can estimate this as a secant line slope between six and eight. So I get a T of eight minus T of six divided by eight minus six. And that's 55 minus 62 over two. Uh, what is that? Negative uh, seven, uh, what is this? Negative seven over two, which is negative 3.5. And the units of this, T is in degrees Celsius, it's degrees Celsius per centimeter. Okay. Write an integral expression in terms of T of X for the average temperature of the wire. Estimate the average temperature of the wire using trapezoidal sum of the four sub intervals and created by the data. Okay, so the, the, the average value is I integrate over the whole interval, but I, I, I divide it by the width of the interval, which is eight in this case. So this is one eighth. And to estimate this integral, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a trapezoidal sum here. Now a trapezoidal sum basically means I take the width of each interval and I average the base. So I'm gonna do one half, uh, 100 plus 93, times the width, which is one in this case, plus one half times uh, the average of these two, 93 plus 70, times that interval, which is four, because five minus one is four, plus one half, 70 plus 62, times that interval is one, and plus one half the interval of 62, the average of 62 and 55, um, that interval is two. 6 minus 8, or 8 minus 6 is 2. Okay, so this is 1 eighth times all of this. And we just use a calculator for all of that. Um, pull it up. Um, 0.5 times 100 plus 93 plus 0.5 times 93 plus 70 times 4 plus 0.5 times 70 plus 62, that's times one, plus 0.5 times 65, so 62 plus 55 times two. Okay, and then I gotta divide that by eight. So this whole thing becomes 75.7 uh, degrees Celsius. Okay, that's the average temperature of the whole bar, which kind of makes sense. It's somewhere between 155, right? Um, four sub intervals. I do four. Yeah, I did four sub intervals, and it's degrees. C's. So C, find the uh, integral zero to eight t prime of x, and you get units of measure. Well, by the definition of this, this is t of eight minus. This is by um, what you do is. I do the antiderivative of t, which is t prime, which is just t, and I plug in 8 and 0, right? That's the fundamental theorem of calculus. t of 8 is 55 degrees, and t of 0 is 100 degrees, and so I get minus 45 degrees Celsius. And this is the temperature, the change in temperature. Between x equals 0 and x equals 8 centimeters d are the data in the table consistent with the assertion that t double prime of x is greater than 0 for every x in the interval so what they're saying is does it look like that um, the second derivative is positive um, Well, the rate of change of this is, you know, I drop negative 7c per um, centimeter. 
And then here, what did I drop? I dropped um, 23 over 4. What's 23 divided by 4? I dropped negative 5.75 degrees C per centimeter. And then this rate of change was um, minus 8 degrees Celsius per centimeter. And this rate of change was, um, what did we lose? Uh, minus 7 over 2, which is minus 3.5 degrees Celsius per centimeter. And so you see the derivatives, the slopes, um, actually go from negative, they increase and they decrease, so I would say no. The uh, secant line slopes go up and down. Yeah, and that you can you can basically do it by um, yeah the secant line slope because they're they're fluctuating. Um, um, you know, they, they decrease, like for, for, for a second derivative to be greater than zero, if it started off at this slope, it, that slope would have to be increasing the whole time, becoming less negative. But you see in this time interval, it dropped eight degrees. Here it dropped seven degrees, here it dropped eight degrees. Um, so it got more negative, which means that the, the slopes bent downward a little bit. Um, and so that means the second derivative um, did change. So let's take a look. The solutions. Uh, negative 3.5, do, 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 75.6, I got that, negative 45. Um, the average rate of change is there, average rate of change is there, by the, no, by the mean value theorem. Uh, so they, they quoted the mean value theorem explicitly, saying that the, that the, it must have decreased somewhere in the interval, because, basically, because of what I said, it started from negative 7, went to negative 8, it has to decrease it somewhere. So, um, okay. Hope you found it helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.